new at eight. We're hearing from the mother of a baby almost abducted from a Lynn laundromat. She tells us the whole ordeal was terrifying. And the man accused faced a judge. WBZ's Katie Brace is live in Lynn tonight with that mother's story. Katie? Well, the child's mother is horrified, especially when she heard what that man planned to do to her daughter after trying to kidnap her from the laundromat. Well, that man's family says it shows he needs help. Yes, Katie, yes. The mother, whose little girl was almost kidnapped in front of her, is still scared and asked us not to show her face. The guy take my baby, but I don't know why. 24 year old Precious Chigbu is accused of walking into the showcase laundromat in Lynn and picking up the one year old girl. The reason police say he gave them is disturbing. And when asked why he went to the laundromat, he responded that he wanted to kill the baby. When asked how he planned to kill the child, he said that he was going to slit her throat. And when asked why, he stated that he just had that thought. This surveillance image shows Chigbu holding the child outside the laundromat Tuesday. Witnesses alerted the mother, and you can see her hand reaching for her child. The little girl's father spoke with us also, not wanting to be identified. He watched my wife when she got out in the car, and uh, he fooled my wife. That's uh, bad because I don't know why the guy do that. Chigbu dropped the girl and left. He was later arrested at a nearby supermarket. His family says he came to Lynn from Nigeria four months ago after abuse of illegal drugs in college landed him in a psychiatric hospital. Well, just as a result of the new medications he's been taking and he needs help. His family doesn't believe Chigbu would have hurt the girl. The child is home and okay. Yeah, go to the house now. Her parents, though, remain scared about their daughter's safety. And Chikbu's family says that he would become fixated on things, but they never saw him become violent. Well, a judge ordered him held without bail pending a dangerous hearing scheduled for next week. Reporting live in Lynn, Katie Brace, WBZ News.